name is Hüseyin Baydar, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about metal-based nanoparticles application and the side effects of the materials. And this video is recorded for EE307 course. Here's the outline. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about what are nanoparticles, and then I will mention the human body interaction with these nanoparticles. Then. Creation of nanoparticles is possible by manipulating molecular synthesis. This is a huge advantage to use nanoparticles for various areas like medicine, food, energy, agriculture, electronics and environments. So on. And day by day, the need for nanoparticles increases. It is possible to affect by nanoparticles since it's easy to enter the body for nanoparticles. There are several ways like nanoparticles can reach the cell from skin via respiratory tract from food and beverage with biomedical applications as well. For example, titanium dioxide nanoparticles can reach to epidermis or even dermis and also for respiratory tract bulk materials are cleared at the upper uh, cells however nano sized materials can reach to alveoli cells and then it can i mean the nanoparticles can go uh, with blood any organ in our body and on the right side it's easily seen that nano how nanomaterials enter uh, the human body metal based nanoparticles are consisted of iron silicon titanium copper etc and these Nanoparticles have some advantages, of course, which are uh, used in drug delivery, protein delivery, gen delivery, and also for the cancer treatment. I'm going to mention magnetic hypothermia specifically for cancer treatment. treatment. Magnetic hypothermia is a way for cancer treatment. For this purpose, an evaluation has been done in a paper which is shown in reference below and for this purpose two uh, magnetic metal based nanoparticles have been synthesized which are shown in the first line and then their characterization has been done by measuring hysteresis effect and then their surfaces were coated with citrate and glycine in order to increase biocompatibility and then it was tested and evaluated these particles with a specific human cell and then the morpho morphology of the particles were figured out by using SEM. The crystal form of the nanoparticles are examined by using X-ray diffraction and HEPG2 cell line is used to test viability and in order to give the heat to the nanoparticles to kill the ca cancer cells a solenoid is used whose frequency is 60 Hz as a result the viability differs on the applied dose and functionality of the nanoparticles for example iron nanoparticles 
quoted with the trade was recorded as it has higher sell viability. Actually, it is the same for cobalt, whose surface also coated with uh, straight. Finally, it was recorded that glycine reduced biocompatibility of the nanoparticles. As disadvantages for metal based nanoparticles, they have uh, been recorded as these, mono, these nanoparticles cause genotoxicity, and neurotoxicity in the human body, and also the massive cell deaths, and phytotoxicity, and also diffusion of blood barrier. As metal based nanoparticles have many advantages like cancer treatment, gen therapy, etc. However, uh, these metal-based nanoparticles can kill the cells with different types, like by damaging cell membrane, mitochondria, or DNA. We need to be aware of this technology and use it in a safe way. And finally, thank you to all.